my name is Sam, and this is another drag race. Let's roll! This is your last chance to buy a Toyota Camry with a V6 brand new. Because from this year and on, they will discontinue the V6 Camry and potentially the Camry TRD Pro, which is the one that we have on today's video. Listen to that engine. We're going to race it against the Nissan Altima SR. Listen to that engine. And of course, we could not do this drag race without the new Honda Accord, but this is a touring hybrid where it's supposed to make more horsepower. Now, listen to that engine. <laughs> put it in reverse and catch the humming. Can noise. you rev it? Like, just if I put on D? You can't rev. That's it. You can only brake stand it. Yeah, it's okay. Well, that's the max we can get. <laughs> There's no way to wrap that thing because it's a hybrid, but it's actually quite fast, I have to say. Now, it's not a 2.0 Sports or a 2.0 Touring, but it is quick for what it is. And unfortunately, I couldn't find a standard 2.0 Touring for this race. So I'm kind of stuck with what we have. And today we're gonna do these three cars, but first we're gonna do the Altima versus the Accords, see which one wins and then go from there. But before we do that, let's talk about the specs. The Camry TRD Pro, it's a front wheel drive, 3.5 liter V6 naturally aspirated with an eight speed automatic transmission making 301 brake horsepower and 276 pound feet of torque. It weighs 3,556 pounds. It's not too heavy, but not that light. The Altima SR, it is a all wheel drive, 2.5 liter direct injected four cylinder, making 182 brake horsepower and 178 pound foot of torque. And it weighs 3,473 pounds. It's actually lighter than the Camry. And the next one is the 2023 Honda Accord Touring Hybrid with a two liter four cylinder turbocharged engine with electric motors that makes combined 204 brake horsepower and 247 pound feet of torque. The engine itself makes about 146 brake horsepower, but then you have the electric motors too. So it's a bit powerful, I would say, for being a hybrid, but it weighs 3,437 pounds, which is actually very close to the Altima SR. Now we're gonna do that a drag race first and then see how that goes. And whichever wins goes up against the Camry TRD Pro. It was a bit wet in the morning, but we've been waiting now to let this thing dry. And so far, it's almost 99% dry. The cars are on winter tires, so just keep that in mind. And we also did our fuel efficiency test because we drove the three cars right behind each other, same speed essentially, and same distance. So here's what we got in terms of fuel efficiency, liters per 100 kilometers. The Honda Accord got five liters per 100 kilometers. That's some good news, which is quite impressive. And then you have the Nissan Altima SR, which got 5.8 liters per 100 kilometers. And the Camry, of course, being a V6, got 6.7 liters per 100 kilometers. So you've got the Accord winning already something, which is the fuel efficiency. Then you have the uh, Altima, which comes in second and the third one is for Camry being a V6 which kind of explains why Toyota is getting rid of this because it's not as fuel efficiency it's not as fuel efficient but who cares it is a lot of fun I am a big fan of this car I have to say I love how this thing handles but having said that if you're new to the channel here's how we do the drag race we start behind the racing lights just to give us enough speed for the roll race all the way to the two cones where the racing lights is and then we go pedal to the metal from there all the way to the end where the quarter mile is and of course the finish camera the end line camera that we keep down there and i also have a racing flag there 
And then the drag race, we start from the racing lines all the way to the end. It's exactly a quarter mile. It is measured. Cars on winter tires because it's still a little bit cold. Today's about like 10 degrees, 11 degrees Celsius. And uh, it's not super warm, but these cars are not super fast. The Altima an all-wheel drive, so it doesn't really matter at that point. With that in mind, I say, let's roll. One, two, three, go. All right, Altima. Let's see what you can do against this Civic. Let's have some fun in these slow cars. And we're off. Oh, it's really slow. <laughs> Okay, we're picking up a little bit, right neck and neck with the Accord, and we're pulling ahead a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, we got him. We got him on the roll. This <laughs> car's too slow. All right, Marcelo, on three, you ready? One, two, three, go. All right, we'll try to get this thing up to a higher speed. 80, I need to hit 80. Come on, 80, 80, 80, 80. All right, and we're off. Come on, come on, CBT. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh man, that, that Accord, it's pulling. It's pulling, oh, it's gonna be so close. It's so close. Oh, the camera will tell us. We're not going to break stand. We're not going to break stand. And we're going to go. Okay, that seemed a little better. 6,000 RPM. Oh, are you kidding? Are you kidding? What are you doing? Awful, awful, just no, just no. No, do not want, do not want. Sport mode, there's the white light. We're gonna Brake stand. And we're off. Come on, Altima. Oh, so bad. Oh, we're getting... Absolutely walked by the Accord. Ah, oh, oh, the gap is real. Oh, 
Okay, let's do the first roll race, see how that goes, and then we go from there. Okay, three, two, one, go. This Camry is quick, and I have no doubt in my mind that it's gonna win this one, no problem. V6, there's no way, there's no way. Yeah. Bye bye, Accord. Such an embarrassment. What is that, like six cars, nine cars, eight cars? I got him so bad. Damn, this thing is good. Let's try at higher speed now. Um, three, two, one, go. Yeah, I think there's no chance for that accord, but he keeps up with me a bit. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I guess higher speed and then I'm just gone. Wow, this thing is quick. I like this car a lot. This thing, you need to be very good with it in terms of winter tires. You don't want to go too hard, about 2000 RPM. There you go, see, it cuts the power. Come on, Toyota, come on. Cuts the power, but then it just hooks more and more and more and more. Come on, 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 come on. Yeah, that's, see, that's the thing. Like, it's just, it has a very hard time hooking and cuts the power, but okay, I want to do one more because I think I can hook it more. Not that it's going to make a difference for him, but for me. There we go, no spinning, no spinning. Yeah, that's where we go. Go, damn. You just gotta be really soft with winter tires. Yeah, there's no hope. There's no hope for him. I love it. I genuinely love this thing. It's really nice. I, I 
would I pick this over the, the Accord Sport 2.0? 100%. The TRD Pro, not the standard. This one is really nice. We could do this all day long. It's not going to change anything. Um, I just have to say you need to drive this after we're done because it's, it's so much different than the one you're driving in terms of like performance is super quick. Anyways, I just want to say to you and Jim, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys helping out with this video. I, I hope you guys had a lot of fun because I did. The TRD Camry is quite an impressive vehicle, I have to admit. Um, it's so much better than the standard one. And I think this is your last chance, actually the last chance for everyone, including myself, to maybe pick up one of these as a good daily. You can turbocharge this thing, make like four or 500 horsepower. I was watching a bunch of videos. You can do a lot with this engine and being Toyota is gonna to be solid. The transmission is actually good, but I'm sure you can find a tuner for that too and make this like a great daily, lots of space, great looking on the outside. I love this thing, like genuinely love this. Um, big fan, thanks for watching. Oh, and we're doing one more video with this. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and check out my other videos on my channel.